I recently just got back from China and um, I always bring my camera equipment obviously since I'm a YouTuber I always need to film things well um, I do have a AX53 camcorder with a built-in gimbal which is great and all but it's a little bit on the big and bulky side it's not a small tiny little camcorder so I needed something that was a, a little more portable that I could bring around you know um, so of course you have your phone. Uh, I have a iPhone uh, 8 and uh, I previously had an iPhone 6. Both do 4K video but now the iPhone 8 does 4K at 60 frames per second which is really really good and better than my camcorder. Uh, my camcorder is 4K at 30 frames per second and I can record in 4K at 125 megabit in H.265 uh, compression, uh, which is absolutely insane for a phone. Well, I previously had been looking at the DJI Osmo after seeing my friend Reese's, and it was very impressive, but it was uh, also considerably expensive. Well, I was browsing around at Walmart, and what did I find? I found a Steadygo electric stabilizer for smartphones, and I thought, well, what the heck? It was only about 80 bucks at the time. Plus, I decided to go online, order it on Walmart.com, and I got another 7% Ebates cash back and 1.5% cash back on my credit card. So, well, what the heck? That is pretty dang good. I figured I'll give it a try for, for that price. If, and if it sucks, well, it's Walmart. You can return it. So, got it. Pretty impressive. It's pretty much the same as the Osmo. Um, Osmo is a little bit higher quality, but you know what? It does the exact same thing. And given that this is so cheap, uh, especially when I travel long distance like China uh, and it gets kicked around, I don't mind as much if it gets broken. <laughs> um, but uh, pretty simply, it came with the, Os uh, the, uh, the stabilizer, a micro USB cord for charging. You can just use your phone charger. And a owner's manual, and it also has, uh, they have an app in the App Store. Uh, the app kind of sucks. It works, but it kind of sucks. Um, the only thing I've been using it, the app for was to calibrate the gimbal. Um, otherwise, I personally pre prefer uh, Pro Movie app, which lets me record at a much higher bit rate than the standard iPhone phone uh, recording. So uh, the phone just fits right in there. Two second hold of the power button. And there we go. Um, it automatically centers the phone in a certain position. And then and pretty much can adjust it many different ways. So let's go like this. If I hold the button down twice, it resets to default angle. So if for some reason while well, you're moving around and it gets all out of whack, you hit the button twice and it'll bring it right back to original angling. Um, you can either have it in uh, a stabilized follow mode or switch the dial here and let's restable center it there. Back out. And that works really well. And most of the footage I filmed in China this trip was done using this. And I even filmed a couple museums. So, and it, it, I mean, this is great and it's so much lighter. Uh, my, my camcorder, which I'm actually recording on now, um, is quite heavy and bulky. And this was great. I was able to push a stroller with one hand and just use this and slowly record. And it does landscape or portrait. If you want to do portrait, you go like this. And it automatically recenters your phone 
for portrait. Change the setting again and it'll you can change how quick it'll follow your movements so it can dampen. Or you can use the joystick, which I found was excellent for doing panoramics. Started off to the one direction and then it does it nice, stable, and slow to do the panorama. And you can adjust the speed depending on how far you or how hard you press the joystick, which worked excellent. Got some great panoramics. So quite impressed, and for the price, it did an excellent job. Uh, be sure to check out some of my China videos um, that I use this to film on. Still was kind of learning it a bit. Uh, took this and used this to film in the world's second largest coal mine. Uh, that I've still got to edit. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, link is in the description box uh, below. Uh, and uh, no, this was not a paid review or anything. When I find a product that's nice, I like to share it. Either way, it's impressive, and it was a crap load cheaper than the DJI Osmo. Ooh, a little too fast there, but you can actually go pretty quick. Adios!